you know, I think I might have a small problem. Uh, you know, the thing is that no matter how good I feel about my little studio here in my bedroom, I still keep upgrading it and the new addition is a shelf. So I got one of these um, cheapo Amazon no assembly tools required thingies for like 40 bucks and it should fit somewhere behind me hopefully. I hope to place it somewhere here so that way it serves as a backdrop but also serves as a staging area for some of these sets I have no space for and that need reviews and such. I think it's gonna be a good addition. Yeah, you can see there's like no tools. It just screws on, on and on and goes up to level five. Okay, let's get to it. It's like cheap IKEA with some Lego to it. Yeah, these just like screw on and that's it. Or it can serve as a very tiny table with only one shelf. I mean, if I like these enough, I think I'm gonna get like four of them. I think I measured and I can fit about four of them in the studio in different places. Um, that's plenty of storage for such a small bedroom, for now. I am actually impressed. It's the last one I have to um, screw in and it really, really took 15 minutes. So they were not lying in the instructions. Very easy build. It's really rattling because I'm uh, <laughs> doing this. But I think it's gonna serve just fine for the price. This can be beat. 40 bucks. Now it's just the final caps to cover the holes. There's not much clearance for the chair. I gotta live with that. I'm gonna, gonna push the desk a bit further. And it seems like a half a meter maybe, maybe less. We're good, we're good. It looks good, huh? Yeah. I think with the clearance of the chair, it's gonna be too hard to have it right behind me. I don't wanna take space away from the other side of the room. So I think it's gonna stay on the corner. You can see it just barely in the shot and it's gonna keep my sets that I want to be there and also the sets that I plan to review. So it's gonna be like a queue uh, using those shelves. I think it's gonna be productivity upgrade for overall studio workflow. What do you think? I like it. One, two, three, four, five levels. Not too bad, that's my bed, so it's very close by, but yeah, it's, it's some clearance. I should have basically upgraded this chair to something more ergonomic. It's not, it looks cool and stuff for the videos, but it's not very good to sit long hours at, so I need to upgrade that. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep that clearance for now. Maybe put like a small shelf here for now, and uh, yeah, use this space the most. Today we have a piece of wilderness, kind of an escape from the city on July 4th, it's Ju July 3rd today, tomorrow is July 4th, you know, the Independence Day weekend. And San Diego has, I think, the only open beaches in the entire Southern California, so people are flocking during the pandemic right now to San Diego County and San Diego beaches. So I thought that me and my family, the best way we can do to actually get some outdoorsy stuff on such weekend is to go the other way to the state parks in the East County and North County. And that's where we are. Beautiful place, Palomar. By the way, did I tell you that the cool factor is one year old, one full year of the channel existence. It's not like one full year of uploading because I did have a break, but it's cool, time flies. I'm happy I'm still here. I think somebody lives here. Yep, check out the forest and the lake. It's really pretty. So that's the famous creek. Family trip. It always ends up like that. <laughs> Disconnecting from the computer, from the world, from editing, from filming. Duh! <laughs> it's actually something you gotta do more often. I think this is the first time I've been in the wilderness for 
I don't know, a few months at least. Never been to this forest. It's pretty beautiful out here. But speaking of the cool factor being one year old, I think I'm speeding up slightly, uh, trying to do more things. So trying to get the next year like really full of content. And definitely vlogging is one of those things. And I think places like this make you kind of want to vlog more because there is so many pretty things to show. Like that, that whatever that is, that creek or I don't know, a drop. And you know, especially during the pandemic when everybody's stuck at home and you're supposed to stay home, this is the best place to go. There is nobody here. See maybe a few people on the trail, especially. It's interesting because it's the 4th of July weekend and you're expecting to have lots of people here. Are you guys coming? Whoa, check out that tree. Ooh. Oh, cranky. Let's explore the wilderness with Mike. Check out this stick. Cranky, so much wilderness, man. I have no idea I'm showing so much forest on a vlog. It's like it's a forest, guys. For me, it's like, whoa. Somebody living in Oregon is like, yeah, that's my backyard. Well, not for me. In California, to see a forest like this, at least in Southern California, you have to drive like 40 miles east from San Diego. Because everything closer to the ocean is either arid, sort of. There's like a, you know, a, a pass of land that's really, really dry. And it looks nothing like this. So this is... Yeah, this is something unique for me. And the trail just goes on, and the trail just goes on And this is beautiful And this is too, and there is some bird just screaming his lungs off I think it seems like there was an avalanche here or some trees just got broken Like this one is fell off I, I have like no idea what to say because I have no idea how to talk about wilderness It's pretty, it's green, it's fresh air Okay, gotta, gotta go back, this trail is pretty long The, the creek makes mosquitoes so we don't want mosquitoes. My kiddo is allergic to mosquitoes, bites. Um, so we're gonna go back. We don't have any mosquito protection, amateurs. Serio? The beginnings of a tree. Yeah, here's the root. The tree will grow right here. There's a tree, a new tree. A bunch of town folk goes to the wilderness. Ooh, a tree is gonna be growing here in the forest. Yeah. We're from the city, guys. I mean. We kind of lived in the countryside back in Poland, but we're from the city. The way the light goes through the forest canopies is beautiful here. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Keep going, careful. Yeah, th there can be mountain lions here, but very rare occurrence, okay? And it's such like a beautiful place, like this is the view. Let me get closer. There's some bug attacking me all the time. Bug, bug out, please. Oh, wow. Hello. Kind of refreshing to see that, huh? Like San Diego is somewhere there, I guess. It will like over 5,000 feet of elevation. It's like a tower in Far Cry. We have to like get it to unlock the map. <laughs> so I think that is the um, fire lookout tower. So they can see like 360 degrees in all directions. You actually have to wear a mask because there are people. The view is actually incredible from here, so you can spot any smoke, any fire in like miles. I think the ocean is that way, not sure, but you can see any fire, any anything. You can pinpoint with your binoculars a lot of miles around us. It's pretty cool, like this whole deck, this whole deck right here is the recreation of the exact size of that deck up there so you can kind of feel how much space they have if somebody like is on a overwatch there okay kids are tired view is beautiful good highlight of the trip i gotta go back and uh, get something to eat perhaps you hungry yeah she's hungry i think the picnic basket wasn't enough okay bye tower pretty cool Let's go.
Today we're checking out the progress of our home that I should be able to be moving to. Hopefully by the end of the year. Let's see if I can see my new Lego studio room that's being built right now as we speak. Really sunny today in California. Beautiful day here in North County, San Diego. It's like all these new developments in California look like somebody was playing SimCity up there, just placing roads and the exact same buildings everywhere. It's kind of the new, the new modern. Ready? Ready to see our new house? We actually have the walls standing. Ah. Our backyard is pretty, pretty okay, pretty acceptable. Like, and uh, if everything goes well, my my studio, my work studio, will have window towards the backyard. This one I think is for sale. So this one is like, it has finished kitchen, but nobody lives here yet. The way you buy a new house in construction in California, you kind of, it's like buying, I don't know, an Ikea furniture piece. You just select from the catalog, you see what they have, you choose your upgrades. We chose that way, it's just easier than just browsing through used inventory houses and trying to find the perfect one. You know, and you get the warranty and everything, so you don't have to do all the extra inspections and they do it for you. But it's a brand new house with like a five-year warranty or something. So it's it's a bit more affordable actually if you think all the fixes you have to do to a used house. And you know, we want to have the ease of mind of having like a newer property um, in a nice location and all that stuff. So it's like halfway there I think the, the walls are actually being built. So if everything goes well, you should see me see me working from a new home studio or hopefully next early next year. Yeah, we got a nice park. Overall, I think that's kind of my goal to have this workroom without any other distractions. It might come true. <laughs> Who knows? You know, it is a huge upgrade for us, not only in terms of just working and having a studio at home, which is amazing for me, but our family was living off apartments for, I don't know, the entire time we've been here. I've, I moved to the US five years ago and we had a one bedroom, then a two bedroom, and, and it's all like just apartments. So, you know, kids grow, kind of need more space. And finally, I think we're in this point in life when we can able, we are able to like move into a, a bigger property and just, you know, start to having it instead of paying rent all the time. So big move, big moves guys. And uh, I'm happy to just say that I'm happy <laughs> and my family is happy and we like this place a lot. It's a bit further uh, than, you know, from work than we are used to, but still I think it's in the end, uh, kids will be happier and everybody will just have more space to live. And overall, you know, it's this kind of milestone achievement for life. So yeah, definitely super happy about that. Singing a song. Okay, that's pretty cool. Picnic day, I mean Panda Express picnic day. It's really nice in here. It's like a, some sort of like a regional county park. Sort of like a lake access here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a lot of bugs. I, I'm I'm bugging out. What did you buy from Panda? Fried fried stuff? Nice. In Poland, you would call these the brown thingies a tatarak. It's a, it's a name for a plant. It's like this is middle of nowhere, but in California, you can just drive, I don't know, three miles away from the town and you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. There's just a vast open space everywhere. You just look at the map, where is this like blue thing going? Oh, it's a lake and you go there and like, there we are, you get a trail. Be very, very quiet. There's a rabbit. <laughs> Roll snakes. We actually saw a, a rattlesnake yesterday just close to home in a canyon trail. You just go and my wife was like, is that a rattlesnake? And yeah, sh the, the snake was just like under the ground uh, with his head sort of under the leaves trying, I guess, to hunt. And you can see the tail with the little rattle thingy sticking out and it was like moving. So we just did a wide arc to, you know, avoid it. But I got it in the camera. That's, that's the first time I saw a rattlesnake kind of in the wild. Well, someone wasn't grooming the palm trees. It's like me without the haircut during the pandemic before finally my wife cut my hair. Kind of look like this. Check out this guy. 
just like flew next to us. Oh. <laughs> okay, we are at the Guajome campground and we're about to head back. Final escape with the nature a bit, seeing our home being built. Yeah, it was fun. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Click like, click subscribe, do all these things. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye.